everybody welcome back to sv handmaids and this is shiba here so in our today's video we are going to see how to make these roses that you see i have used in these projects so i'm going to use my cricket cutting machine to cut out these roses so i'll be telling you the method uh, watch till the end i'm going to show you how to do this even if you don't have your cutting machine so first let's open up the Cricut app and this is our canvas so we have to add our desired flower image for the machine to cut so I selected this flower here so our cardstock measures about 9 inches in width so to make a flower of about 3 to 4 inches our image on the screen should also be measuring about 9 inches on the width so this particular flower, I don't want to waste my cardstock space. So I try to cut from edge to edge. And so we adjust the size. By trial and error, we can we will know at which position uh, we place the image. It is not going to waste our cardstock. So now we transferred our image to the cutting mat. It will show the exact position how it's going to cut on your cricket mat so here you can fix your mistakes or if it's going out of the screen it's going to tell you so once you ask it to cut then you have to select the material so in our case it's going to be the cardstock so go you have to get your mat ready so take off the protective sheet and then place your cardstock on the Cricut cutting mat. It's a sticky mat which will hold your cardstock stuck to the mat itself without moving. So you will see that I left a small tiny bit of space on the top and on the left. So by practice we would know that. So once we press go, the machine is going to start cutting your design that you just gave on your app just like it works just like your printer it pulls the mat in and similar to printing instead of that here it's going to cut so you will not be able to see i'm just going to take it more closer so that you see the lines where it makes the cut now you can see those lines since the cutting head moves the she uh, the cutting mat moves back and forth it's very difficult to keep it focused so now you see it clearly so whatever the design on your screen the same thing it's going to cut on the cardstock So if it doesn't cut properly, then you have to adjust the pressure of the blade. You can increase or decrease according to your wish. Now our cutting is done. Now we have to take the mat out of the machine and so I'll show you how it comes out here so you have to be very very gentle with it at some places if it doesn't cut properly then gently you have to remove those places by hand. You can use your tweezer 
or the tools that come along with the Cricut machine, anything you can use to remove those. Because the mat is sticky, the design would be stuck to the mat. So you have to be very gentle in removing it. You can use a spatula, but I don't have one, so I'm trying to remove it with my hand. So now we move our mat away because it's very sticky. And then we try to remove all the unwanted pieces from our design. So if you increase the pressure, then uh, you will not have this difficulty of removing. It will come off more easily. So by practice, we have to figure out which type of material needs how much of pressure to cut. So I used the default setting which says cardstock. So by practice, we will, uh, we will learn to adjust the dial. Now we have removed uh, the design out of the mat. Now we will see how to shape this into a 3D flower. Now your floral base is ready. Use a tweezer to roll up the flower that you just cut out. Don't they look pretty? So this will measure approximately about 3 inches. Now we will see how to make the same flower without using a cutting machine. So with any circular object, draw a circle then make a spiral inside. So on the edge of the lines, you just make a scallop for the flower petals. You can make it any design you want, you can make it deep or blunt, anything. So to make it simple, I am drawing a rounded scallop. Remember, it should be in a spiral form. Now, this is the same design that I cut out using the machine. So, we will try without the machine too. So, first discard all the excess um, chart paper or the cardstock that you are drawing. And then, Carefully cut out the scallops. First, you will remove the spiral. Now, we will cut the scallops on the outside. This is very similar to fuzzy cutting. Just keep moving the left hand cardstock and keep your scissors stable to make your work easier. You need not be too exact but just make sure the scallop is visible. So now using your quilling tool or the tweezer, you can use anything as per your wish. Tweezers will be easier to do. Then after you take it out, just shape it properly with e uh, the equal spacing and then glue the bottom portion. There you have your rows. So the same thing I'm going to show you with the tweezer. These look very pretty and can be used in a variety of projects to give a beautiful effect.